Morning, David. Morning, Nick. Um, wow, what about that then? Um, I know you knew you'd bought a nice horse, but were you expecting that sort of a run? I have to say I wasn't. I was expecting to be able to go a circuit, maybe. Um, <laughs> after that, it was uncharted territory because I've only been around there once in the Fox Hunters. I actually thought when I walked the track with Kaylin, um, I thought, God, I'm going to have a mental block here. And when we get to the chair, I'm going to come off from come off at the elbow because I only ever go around this track once, not twice. <laughs> and, and when we got when we got to the chair first time round, I thought, ah, oh, actually this is okay. I think I can get round. It's going to be all, it's going to be all right. But I have to say, ain't that a shame? Was just the the most straightforward ride I could possibly have wished for in the race, in that he he measured his fences himself. The only time um, he ever made a mistake was um, two after the canal turn when I got a bit cocky and thought, I, I I know what's going on here, I can see a stride. And I went, one, two, and he went, well, no, 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 there's a third here. And he absolutely demolished it. And I just, I just said into his ear, sorry about that, lad, I won't try that again. <laughs> and I left him alone for the rest of it. So almost the perfect, perfect choice of Grand National Ride, because you were saying to me earlier in the week that you were worried, you were worried that he was pretty onward bound and that, and that he might just, he might just run off a little bit, but evidently not. He he wasn't really strong in the race. Or they they go a really good clip. So you know, unless you, unless it's properly trying to run away, you're you're not, you know, um, it it you're probably not going to find yourself um, being tanked off with. But actually, with him, as long as he had a bit of cover, he was fine. The he was jumping so well after a circuit, he was starting to out out jump everything around him and. and I found myself in a bit too much space, and he was getting a bit of a, he was getting a, a, a bit of a head of steam. But as soon as I found him a little pocket to get back into, um, he was he was great. No, he was an absolute dream. Um, you've we were talking the other day about your your kind of career highlights. You've you've won a big race at Punchestown at the Punchestown Festival. Uh, you've won a Grade Three race in in France. You've been round the Grand National fences to good effect several times. You've been placed in the Fox Hunters there. Um, where did yesterday match up in terms of how you felt leaving the race course? Um, I, I would say um, top number one feeling of my career in racing, because you actually realise with the Grand National, and it's 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 very important for us in racing um, to remember this that it's the Grand National that that the world watches. Um, and I, I hadn't even realised it until the number of text messages and WhatsApps I've had from people who who don't watch racing from one end of the year to the next, who who watch the Grand National, um, and so it's a hugely important horse race, and and it's actually why it's hugely important that that we in racing get it right, and I think actually we really did this year. I mean, it was a it was a brilliant race. It was great that there were so many horses in contention. Um, turning in. I mean, that, that, that's the measure of it having gone right, I think. And at what point were you at your most hopeful that you could take a really meaningful hand in the race? Melling Road, second time round. I thought, oi, oi, <laughs> I might be in with a squeak here. And then I, I looked around and I just saw all of these including Kalen, by the way, right beside me, all of these good horses, um, uh, you know, go, also going very well. And I thought, well, uh, we're not, I'm probably not going to be placed, but we are probably going to finish because you, you don't tend to fall at the last two. Um, for some reason, they, they seem to jump those. Uh, and interestingly, and this is, I think, what confounded a lot of people, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, you had about eight or nine horses in front of you jumping the last, and you've ended up finishing six. Uh, and that's, I think, the thing that, that maybe did surprise a few people was how well he finished off for you with his head bowed, trying all the way to the line. 
he's a very he's a very honest game horse. But maybe hey, maybe it's just my unconventional riding style, Nick, in a finish. <laughs> What that has that has motivated him to greater <laughs> effect? You mean? And you got and you got up to you got up to do Danny Mullins for sixth as well. I know you, I out, you outrode Danny Mullins for sixth. I was very I was very <laughs> determined to get to nick that sixth place. It does have a better ring to it, doesn't it? It does have a nice ring if you finished in the first six. Um, one the other point we made earlier in the week when we were talking was this horse's uh, appreciation of really really soft ground as well that if it, again, a bit like we were talking with Kaylin earlier, if it had been really wet, that he might have gone even better. Yeah, I mean, he, it actually had dried to, um, it, it had dried to good to soft from really properly bottomless on, on Thursday. And yeah, so it would have been better if we had have had, um, uh, if we had have had softer ground. But I, I don't think I could have really, uh, thought of any closer than, than sixth, so you know I'm I'm delighted with that. Yeah. Now, so th th there is absolutely no shot that you're not going to come back and do this again next year. <laughs> if they were if they were running again today, I'd be lining up in it. I'm de I mean I'm already plotting it out with Henry. Uh, ain't that a shame? Route to the race um, next year, hundred percent, hundred percent certainty. While I have breath in my body, we'll be at entry April next year. Um, while you have breath in your body, it's also 100% certainty, isn't it, that you're going to Plumpton this afternoon? <laughs> no, I'm not. Are you not? No, no the ground's dried a bit too much. Ah, um, OK. And, and it's, just, it, it's, it's gone good there, and it's just probably a, a little bit sharp for Jatlowy, but I, I was going to. OK. Well, that's, it's very convenient that the ground has dried up uh, accordingly, so you can at least luxuriate in the Grand National for, for one well-deserved Sunday afternoon. Um, David, thanks so much for chatting to us. Uh, all the very best. Thanks, Nick. Uh, Dave Maxwell, who rode Ain't That a Shame to, to finish sixth. Watch live racing now on RacingTV.com.